Today, we're going to talk about a whole bunch of things that has been happening over the past few weeks in the KISS world, including, including. is Paul Stanley working on a special project? Is Bruce Kulick all of a sudden decided, I'm going to say whatever the hell I want, and I don't care who hears it. Gene Simmons has got something going on. Ace Fraley has so much to say, and we're going to talk about it all tonight on Podcast Rock City Live. Joe here from Podcast Rock City, and with me this week, Sunny Hollywood Pony. I'm rocking my quarantine shirt. Joey, are you in that band? No, huh? Uh, Did they ask you? I don't think so. Wow. I think I think he's happy so birthday, mean. Joey. Happy birthday, birthday Joey. leave him alone. So mean, so mean. It is Casada's birthday. That's why he's he's not here this week. And then I think next week he's on the Jericho cruise. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe so. Yeah. And I believe he is performing with quarantine on the cruise, but um, yeah, happy birthday, Casada. I don't, if I had to, mm-hmm. if I'm guessing his age. So let's say 79, he was five, right? Seeing oh. kiss 79. I think he said he's five in his book. So that puts him at like what? 49 now. Uh, Sounds about 50. Today would be 50. Yeah. Would he? Well, 74 to 24. Yeah. Holy mackerel. Okay. We got to find out. We're going to figure that out. It's a big one. (laughs) I guess it just depends on when his birthday was in 79. That's right. Uh, Anyway, uh, so happy birthday, Joey Casada. All you guys that are watching right now live, man, good to see y'all. Happy New Year. If you haven't been, we've, we've, we've only done like one or two shows this year so far because everybody's been super busy, including myself. And uh, but we're back on it now, and it's great to see you. I hope you're warm wherever you are. Yeah. Let's uh, man, there's so much to talk about. We're not going to waste any more time. Lee, you do. Oh, I didn't announce Lee. Okay. My bad. The beautiful and wonderful, <laughs> the goddess of thunder, Lee. How you do? I'm sorry, oh, Lee. It's okay, Joe. You're so excited. It's okay. Uh, I'm just excited to see you guys. <laughs> I even sent y'all a message last night saying I missed you so much. I missed you guys. I didn't uh, get that message. You did it? <laughs> no. You were cut out of that one. I don't, or, no, I sent it. I promise I sent it. Joe, the it, room is looking good. Thanks, man. We got uh, Karen did all of this. I had nothing to do with it. She hung the lights. She hung the posters. Good job, Karen. I sat there, and as she was putting the LEDs up, I held the ribbon. <sighs> and as she pulled it out, it went. How would you function without her, Joe? You know, I don't ever want to think Very about poorly. That. He won't have to know. I'll have to live in your basement, Lee. Do you have a basement? Oh, the rec room down here, you can. Yep, and Lee will be got. taking care of me. Yay! <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, let's go ahead and get to the news. Podcast Rock City News. Like so I, much. What, what were you going to say? I'm sorry. Are you going to let me start the news? 
Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So we oh, had our first ever podcast Rock City Fantasy Football League. <laughs> we have a winner. Congratulations, DJ Walker from Montana. His team, Montana Star Child, won the league. Wow. So, DJ, I have your trophy. I'm going to send you a uh, shipment, and then Joe is going to send you a separate shipment with some goodies, and we'll sign Swag. some of the stuff. We're not all together, and I know you want some of the, some of the stuff signed. We'll sign what we can of what we have, and then, you know, yeah. enjoy the stuff. We'll Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, I came in second to last. I would have come in last, but I beat Joey. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to do it, and so we... I wasn't involved. And you still <laughs> did better than Joey. I still beat him. Still it wasn't better than me. Um, all right, you guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about some of this stuff. The, somebody's been talking a whole lot. Uh, oh. Oh. Ace. Um, Ace, is out of his mind. Uh, Ace just you know I, so here's the thing I'm going to read this and then you guys so basically Ace said I could play rings around Paul Stanley on guitar and I could even sing better than him and I don't have to use backing tracks now that being said you guys here's my issue with this here it has nothing to do with what he's saying um, I, you know, I, I, I can say I disagree. I agree. It doesn't matter e either way. It doesn't matter. What, I, what my thing is, is does it feel like, or would you say, I'm going to go to you first, Sonny, that he's going to turn off kiss fans. It, it's like, it's like, you got a record coming out. Let's talk about that. Sonny. <laughs> yeah, because what happens is so we have a friend, Boo Boo. Some of us have met Boo Boo, and he's a huge Paul fan. Sooner or later, he's not listening to Ace at all because he's going to turn Boo Boo off because Boo Boo is a huge Paul fan. It's like Ace just cut it out. I think you're hurting yourself more than you're helping yourself. No, I agree. Lee? Yeah, I don't understand where that's coming from. Like, what's the reason? I agree. Just, I mean, I I personally find Ace's posts very amusing. I mean, it's him in the grocery store and all this stuff. I mean, it's funny. But this kind of stuff, we, you know, it, it, there was no need for it. I don't understand it. It's really not necessary. It's like, yeah, man, it's not necessary. We, yeah, it's like we he's just want... mad at Paul, I guess. He's just mad at him because the old piss comment and he just can't let it go. <laughs> holding yeah, the grudge. But that's almost the it's going it's going on nine months ago now. He's holding it's the like grudge. Not, yeah, it's like let's uh he needs to go back let's... to his resolution of finding God and let you know forgive. <laughs> and the, the guitar comment. Okay. No, he can play rings. First around. of all, I don't agree. But even if I didn't, even if I don't agree, aren't you supposed to be able to play rings around? You're Paul the lead Stanley? guitarist. You're the lead guitar player. <laughs> That's true. <sighs> yeah. Uh, so I, I don't, I don't really understand all that. You know. Yeah. I, all we I, need is Eric to come and say I play drums better than Ace. We know this. <laughs> I just don't know. Yeah. That's. I mean, I play rings around Ace on the kazoo. It's like who cares? I do on the recorder. It's yeah. like it, it, and and I just, I don't, um, I just don't understand the motivation. I understand that, ne Sonny. We've talked about this before. Negative news draws attention, right? And he's just trying to get attention. The vocal stuff, dude. He has absolutely got to That's stop. He's got to stop. He's this got to shut not, up about it. Yeah, that's not good attention. Yeah, that's not attention you want. Yeah. No. Okay. So, Sonny, how does Paul get Ace to stop talking about him? Oh, I got <laughs> foolproof way. Paul needs to fly to Ace's next gig. Take photo video. Take oh, iPhone video please. of Ace singing and then post it on his own Twitter and Facebook and say, this guy's better, and that will shut Ace up immediately. 
I, yeah. Uh, and, and one thing that I'm noticing here is that most of y'all's comments, and I'm trying to get up, I'm trying to get up as many as I can, guys. Our producer is out. Uh, his wife had a third child. It's amazing. Um, and um, it, it just isn't necessary. Tell us about the record, where you recorded it, how long it took, what are you expecting, how do you feel? You know, you don't have to say it's as good as my 78. You can say it's great. It's my favorite album, you know, this year or whatever you want to say. Did you see just, the picture I just sent you guys in this about Ace's story? He's in a, he, it said video shoot and he's in like a astronaut costume. Yeah. It's kind of it's funny. All... Just do that. You know, go on about your album. Come on. <sighs> Mark Randall's in Kennesaw, Lee. I'm, I am too. Yeah. Kennesaw. Small world. Anyway, you know, everybody in Kennesaw has to own a gun. People don't know it's, that. It's the it's law. It's in the books as a law. <laughs> yes. It's a law. You must own a gun. Literally, it is. Us. And in the town next door, Ackworth, everybody must own a fishing pole. They <laughs> made that law. After Anyway, it doesn't matter. But it's a true That's story. True. true story. Um, It says, uh, so look at here. Look, Ace is doing a Vinnie Vincent. He is his own <laughs> worst enemy. After a while, you start going, I, you're, the negativity brings us down. You know, we, we just got over, you know, the final two shows. It's like you want to whisper in his ear and go, "Dude, they're 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 gone. <laughs> they're they're literally go. they're literally let it go. They're gone now. Let's just let's make it all about you." Um, yeah. And could you imagine? Are, could you imagine a wrestler still talking shit and the wrestler to talk about already retired? Yeah, yeah. No, this is I what's get happening here, I, right? stupid <clears throat> ace could um, just do funny stuff like why doesn't he just you know why is he doing yeah man, we watched him grocery shop it was hilarious like, i was dying have, it's, like, it's just funny you gotta have two of anything i'm gonna buy a block of cheddar cheese gotta have two i buy two yeah. of everything gotta have just two do that, funny things it's funny. i will i will tell you that when i heard that um when i heard when i heard him in that thing and he was talking about uh, how he had to buy two of everything, you know, it, it made me giggle because, um, Jesse James Dupree from Jackal, um, came to a club that I was running one time to see his son, Nigel play. And I was talking to him and he told me a story and I, it's been, you know, 15 years since, but he did tell Wild me Bills? a story about, no, he told me a story about, traveling with zz top and i if i'm remembering the story right it was like when they would go shopping they would see something and go i like that jacket i want three and if they said well we only have two in stock they would go okay well i don't want any give me four of those oh, okay we have four of those okay i'll take <laughs> it was like, it was just really funny to me you know he told me a couple of good stories but Anyway, that was a uh, was a lot of fun, and uh, but seeing him shop is like he's going, he's still he's living that life too. It's like I want what I want, you know. I want two of everything, and I have to say, it's like I I do the same thing only with sandwiches. But oh, anyway, uh... <laughs> and and I think that's all great. Just stop talking about Kiss. Just stop talking about right, Paul. Stop ripping stop on Paul. About you. Just stop. <laughs> Just there's no reason yeah. for it. No reason for it. Um, one other thing. Let me uh, let me get this set up right here. Sorry, 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 sorry. I just want to make sure I I get this for you guys. One other thing that uh, was going on here was oh okay. So we got a letter. We got a letter in the mail, and it was from Gage Deval. Gage. Uh, I hope I said your name right. He he sent a letter to us and said, Hey, Podcast Rock City, your show came up on my feed on YouTube the other day. And since then, I've spent 25 hours this week listening to your podcast. It rocks. Uh, I just had a couple of questions for the board. And then this was one of the questions he asked, uh, did, uh, did we get a chance to uh, read this article? Can uh, you see 
See that on there, Sonny? Yeah, okay. Uh, Paul Stanley's not stressed over the Kiss Avatar uh, backlash. I didn't even know this interview was out there, so thank you for hitting us up with that. I've been still moving in and getting situated here. So there's a few things in here that I thought was uh, interesting. Uh, so it, he he basically says he understood why people were... were uh, taking it, you know, the, the wrong way and not understanding. He says, one thing that's interesting is people, I think perhaps even understandably got the wrong impression initially of the avatars. The star child tells UCR because at the garden shows, we wanted to give people a glimpse of some of the things or one of the things that's to come, but the avatars are really in their infancy they're far from where they'll end up in terms of look and purpose. The purpose ultimately is not uh, that we're being replaced by flying avatars. It's just another way of diversifying what kiss is sunny. They shouldn't have told us yet. If, if you know what I mean, I mean, if they weren't ready to hit, hit us in the chest with something that would have been so like, uh, you know, this was more of a. Eh. They wanted to plant the seed. Yeah, it it makes apps. It's just releasing the avatars and then saying you'll see them in 2027. Just, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't. I don't get it. There's nothing I have to wait for three years. Nothing. Right. Is there anything in right. your life you wait for for three years? Uh, no, I, 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 it would have to be pretty spectacular. And uh, I'm, I'm talking about good things like sex, ice cream, food. Like there's nothing I would wait for three years. I'm sure the hell's I don't <laughs> wait for an avatar. Right. They no, I get it. Seed. They just want everybody to know we got something coming. We're not gone. You know? Yeah. That, and, but I know I get that, but they could have said, you know, they, they, I don't know. We, we beat this, we beat this horse to death. Yeah, we beat this horse to death. Um, so that being said, Paul based Paul Stanley basically said, I hope nobody's losing any sleep over this. I'm not, I, I don't, I don't know I don't anybody so. that is. I don't know no, anybody that is. I don't either. <laughs> I, and I, and, and, in, and basically in his comment, he was saying, I, you know, I don't want anybody to lose any sleep over this. He believes it's going to be wonderful. He believes it's going to be great. We'll I see. will, I will tell you guys that I have watched. I don't know, maybe two or three, at least two, but maybe three documentaries now about the ABBA, ABBA ex yeah. experience. Am I I'd saying like that wrong? That. Is it ABBA or ABBA? I say ABBA, but I'd like to see that show. That'd be, I think it looks pretty cool. So one I of the saw it on YouTube. It was. I mean, I like it. to see it in person just to see. Yeah. Well, the thing is, is that what you can see on youtube so they basically all right so you so the in the documentary i watched basically said you pull out your camera during the show you're out and they throw yeah. you out and it's they said that's why there's there's very little footage to see except for stock footage they said that um the stadium that it's in collapses ikea style yeah like they could take it apart and build it somewhere else and put it together, and it's there too. I think they said it seats three thousand, which is a lot of people. Yeah. Um, to watch a cartoon, you know. Yeah. But but now now for Abba Abba, um, one of the things is they will uh, the setting for that will attract different people. Okay, so they have seating private seating with private dance floors yeah. and a public dance floor on the floor. So you, and, and that's the style. That's what you go to an ABBA ABBA show for, right? You go for <laughs> dancing. That's what it is. It's of dance course. music. Um, or at least I would put on some roller skates. <laughs> it, they oh, should have had a that. roller skating ring around the outside. That would have kicked ass. I'm just saying <laughs> dancing queen. Okay. Um, I'm with McMurphy. So I'm going to announce it right now. You ready? Oh, shit. I'm going to announce it. Oh, in 2127, there will be flying cars. I promise you. <laughs> you just have to wait 104 years. 
Well, the amazing thing is I am going to be here for that. <laughs> and I'm outliving everybody. Um, so so I did. And then what was um, so they have like a souvenir shop in there. They have a place where you can get food and beer and drinks and stuff like that. Um, it uh, They talked about the price of the tickets wasn't too didn't feel too high. The dance floor, I think, was cheaper because there's no seats. Um, uh, but but for Kiss, there's no we're not dancing. Uh, so it would have to be there would have to be way more seating, you know, and or I mean I'm not dancing. How about that, Ace? Uh, Lee, Lee, do you dance during a Kiss concert? Sure. Yeah, I don't. A little I don't, bit, you know, yeah. just you know. Yes, I guess you could call it that. Yeah. I don't know. Paul Stanley rocking you, out, more like rocking. Paul, out. Yeah, yeah. Paul always said, you know, he likes to shake his wazoo. You shake your wazoo. I don't. What's a wazoo? Is it your bottom? Is that what sure. you're a I wazoo? So. It's the bottom. It's the bottom. It's got to be. Um, I'm just, you know. All right, so that's where we are with this. Um, that's where we are with all that stuff. Obviously, this is going to drag on and on and on, and we'll keep talking about it as long as they keep bringing it up, of course. Uh, but there's other things happening, including Ace's album comes out soon, right? It's February, Sunday? Yeah. yeah, February something. I have it on the calendar. So um, it'll be cool. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, that's pretty much the news. Uh, there, I mean, there's a lot going more going on, and we're going to do it. Excuse me. Wow. I haven't even eaten dinner yet. In the topic of the week. Podcast Rock City Topic of the Week. That, you know, and I and I don't mention it enough, but you guys, the, all the music here is from either Classic Seventy Eight or the Bay City Psychos. Check out their stuff on uh, online. Bay City Psychos is no more, but 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 Classic Seventy Eight. You know, you can find them online. Buy their music; it's great. It's a lot of fun, and um, uh, and they and they're generous, and they loan it to us so we can uh, and uh, so we can use it on our show, and they don't charge us a penny. They're amazing. Um, so, topic of the week. Uh, it happened a couple weeks ago. We're watching online, and all of a sudden, Bruce comes out online and goes, and once again, I'm paraphrasing, basically, and Sonny, you can correct me if I'm wrong, he does not believe Kistory was represented at the final show. Yes, that's what he said, Sonny? Yeah, he said a bunch of stuff. You know, he's been on a bunch of interviews, including our friends over at Shout It Out Loudcast. Did a great interview there. He's just been very vocal, more vocal than we're used to him being. Mm -hmm. um, he said he wasn't invited. He said he was having problems with at least thinking about going, thinking about going, or... I don't know if Lisa was trying to push him to go and he's like, I'm not going to crash a party. Like I'm not going if I'm not invited kind of thing. Um, and I think all in all, he was hoping it would have been handled more like the hall of fame thing where he was invited. He was at the table. He stayed flow flirt first class. He didn't get to get on stage and he wasn't inducted, but he was given his due. Right. And I know it's weird to hear that from Bruce, but I, I do got to say, like, you basically didn't even mention the guy's 11, 12 years in the band. Like, that's I, that's a little weird. I would have been hurt, too. But, you know, you know these guys. That's how they roll. I mean, that's who they are. And so Bruce kind of went in and out of it. He didn't totally break down and say he was crushed. And, you know, he totally didn't say it was okay. And then I think he's trying to, you know, keep the peace with those guys, but still say what he needs to say, I guess, is what he's trying to do lee do you think now here's the thing we don't know bruce kulik but he has always been polite and positive and a team yes. player in every yeah. way shape or form mm -hmm. does it feel like like sonny said like maybe he's hurt that nobody said and thanks bruce kulik 
That's what I think. He sounds hurt. Like we all we mentioned, you know, they sh we wish they had done some kind of tribute to all the members. Everybody wishes that instead of these avatars. <laughs> but you know, instead of interviewing Chris Angel, why didn't they have Bruce up there? You know, I, I agree. I mean, I think he's hurt. Yeah. Um, so but I want to mention something that's very somebody said this online and it and when I read it. Um, it kind of rocked me to the core. Okay. So, and I mean that seriously, because th this is important, what I'm about to say. Somebody said, I don't understand what all the bitching is about. Kiss retired in 2000, and they didn't bring up any of these people then either, and nobody gave a shit. So that's a good point. But my, but my answer is, is that we were, it was ending the way it started Right, original uh, four. Yeah. yeah, but Sonny, who's got his hand up like he's about <sighs> to get, I have to go to the bathroom. What is going to say what? That's 24, 21 to 24 years ago, depending on what you believe. There was no Twitter, no Facebook, no. Yeah. Like, we, there was not the public uh, eyes and ears on everything you were doing at that point in time. So even if somebody was to do it, you wouldn't have known if they did it on stage or not because nobody was taping the shit. No, yeah, that's true. They didn't do it. I agree with that, and nobody gave a shit then. But the difference is now you've got millions of people having an opinion because they can have one in their basement. That's the difference. Well, I went to 10 of those shows, and as I recall, there was video like of Eric Carr and stuff in the back during the show. I mean, they didn't make a tribute, but it, he was in there. Yeah, I don't remember any of that. Um, I only got to go to one, and that was the uh, Atlanta was show. <laughs> I only got to go to one. Um, but uh, so so Bruce is, uh, I guess he's a little upset, you know. And and sure. I and and saying I'm not going to go where I'm not invited. I'm not going to go where I'm not wanted, you know, kind of thing. That has that has kind of made fans um, like step, sit back and go, wow, you know, this is so shocking of Bruce. You know, it's, it really is. It's just not what we're used to. And um, I really, it's, it's been one of those things where I've been watching people online and they've all been saying the same thing, man. It's like, what's the, what's the, uh, What's the deal? What's going on? Can you see me? I feel like, oh, I see there. There's a thing over my face right here. We got one of those love heart thingies. All right. I'm sorry. You what? can't see it. I can see it on the feed. All of a oh. sudden, her name's over my face. And I was like, I didn't do that. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. So uh, that, that being said, there's, you know, Bruce did leave Grand Funk Railroad. I'm mm -hmm. imagining that he's putting a band together. <clears throat> um, hope so. To uh, to to do some road shows. I really hope that that he does. I would personally, if 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 Bruce Kulick showed up in Atlanta with his band to play at a place here, like the like uh, um, Variety Playhouse, Lee, you think that would be yes. big? That's that's too yeah. too small. You think or too big? Just hmm. right. I don't know. I think it'd be. I'm going to see Mr. Big there on Tuesday. So. I'll be there too. Oh, I'll okay. Be there too. See you there, Joe. Lee and I are going to. Although get they just in. canceled their show tonight, someone's sick in Florida. Yeah. Oh, so. oh, just damn. We'll see if they're okay Tuesday. So if Mr. Big is playing there. That place is too big for Bruce. You think? I so? love Bruce. I absolutely love Bruce. I've said it over and over and over. Love Bruce. But unless somebody's going to promo these shows mm -hmm. as they would Kiss shows, Mr. Big had a number one hit. Like, Mr. Big has sold some albums. Milk, Mr. Big has been all around the world. Mr. Big is doing a farewell tour. Now, okay. I don't know. Okay, I don't know how many people this holds. I would I say know. a thousand. If Mr. Big is playing there, Bruce can't play there. Hmm. It's not that big, though. You don't think so? Not really. Yeah. We'll we'll take pictures when we may be there. 
I don't know. I don't know. Now, Mr. That. Big is playing some smaller spots and charging more money to make their money up because they're, they're playing Ludlow Garage here. Dude, there was no tickets less than 109 bucks. Yeah, my and I'm like, was wow. My ticket right was now, now, if that place only holds a thousand people and Bruce is only going to charge 25 bucks, okay, well, then that I guess is a different situation. Hmm. Right, right. But um, if Mr. Big is playing a theater and they're charging 50 bucks like normal, Bruce can't play that place. I, If I was Bruce, I tried to hook up into casinos. Like, play some casinos, take somebody out with you, and you could probably, you know, those casino theaters, they're anywhere between 1,500 and 2,500 people. The casino will help you sell the tickets because they want to get people there anyway. And, you know, you could take a comedian out with you, um, or you could take another band out with you. But I'm looking forward to Bruce coming out because I think Bruce doing justice to what his legacy is, is I think is wonderful. Right. I don't know if he's going to make grand funk type money, but who knows? Right. Well, well, me and Joe will be there. He's 70 years old and maybe he's just like, I'm 70 now. I want to do something different. He's been in grand funk longer than he was in Kiss, right? I know. It, right? Double the time, I think. Crazy. Double the time. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, all right. So that's what's going on with Bruce. The we'll we'll have to pay attention to see if he says anything else, or if any Bruce Kulick live shows get lined up. I think that it would be a lot of a lot of fun to go and see a show, a Bruce show. Um. Just because I, you know, singing the music, seeing him, I think I saw him maybe four or five times on the Kiss cruise, and I'm, and, and you know, twice on each cruise. So let's say eight times. It it's a great show every time. He's they add things, uh, you know, from different from the first show to the second show. It's always cool. Um, I wonder who he'd get to sing. So there's plenty. So I was going to talk about that. There's plenty of. Uh, talent in vegas that can do what he needs to do the question is is bruce willing to have like an iron maiden setup to where there's nine or ten members and they kind of bounce in and out mm. right just like the iron maidens depending on who's available who's not they go out if he's willing to do something like that and it doesn't have to be todd then he probably has more flexibility in doing some stuff but if it has to be absolutely with Todd, I'm not doing it without him. Then he limits himself because anytime Slash is on tour, that's going to be a problem. Oh. Here's an interesting question. Do you think Kiss has done a good job at selling themsel uh, themselves to the younger generation in the last 15 to 20 years? Uh, that's who they'll be pushing the avatars. He says, I say no. It's unfortunately, unfortunate. I don't know. I would honestly say that the first step that they took back with the Scooby-Doo was a good one. Every kid knew about that Scooby-Doo movie. I, of course, I'm always wearing Kiss t-shirts, just like a lot of you are. And I would go into my son's school and kids would walk up to me and go, I know who that is. That's the spaceman that I've said this before. That's the demon. That's the star child. And then, and, and, so they probably were on a, now those kids you have to you have to put this together now because this is kind of strange when you think about it that dvd when it came out my son was in the fifth grade he's graduated now oh he's 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 about he's gonna be 19 this year so has my son seen them since scooby-doo yes but that's because of me but average kid that was watching the Scooby-Doo and said, hey, I watched this video, Mom and Dad, the, the, that band is coming in concert. Can we go? Probably didn't really happen that often. Yeah. I, That's what I was going to say. Children of KISS fans will know, but who else? There you go. <laughs> Nick is absolutely right. KISS has done a terrible job of uh, connecting with the generation. The way they did the job, they were still around, and we connected the, the generation. So the mm -hmm. fans yeah. helped the correct children. the generation. Now, that being said, I have a 23, a 21, and a 20 that knows who KISS is. Don't give two shits about the avatars. So there you go. So even with the fans that they connected to, 
and one of those three has seen Kiss, they don't give a shit about the avatars. It doesn't matter to them. It's the truth. My son knows about Kiss because of what I did, and then he saw Scooby Doo because of me. That's just the you know the way it is. All right, let's talk about something else um, that I found really interesting. Um, let's read this one. I think if it's I think if Kiss wanted to maximize their popularity after final show, they should have concentrated on true fan base and released box sets, videos, and music. Everybody's everybody has different ideas. Obviously, Nick's isn't any is as valid as anybody else's. Um, they should be doing all of it. It's like, especially if you're sitting at home now going, hey, I'm just online now and I have nothing to do. It's like, you have stuff to do. <laughs> Figure out what's next. All right. That being said, this is a, this is a, uh, this is a tease. Okay. I got, I'm going to lead in now. That being said, I started seeing a couple of things um, online. Now in that article that I was reading during the news, Paul Stanley apparently has a new art show. Um, that's going to debut uh, a whole bunch of new art. And that's, I guess, I think it said next month. And uh, so that's something that Paul's doing. However, he has, I think where he's painting is where is maybe like uh, the warehouse where Kiss keeps all their stuff because he is, he's posted a couple of pictures, which made me stop. And and take notice, and I'm wondering, is he is he reminiscing, hmm. or or is he showing us that he's looking around this uh, building? You can see that, guys. Oh yeah. So so you can see he looks to be in a warehouse, right? Um, it, it, one of the things that I find to be really cool is if you look at the be back, his basement. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the Kiss warehouse. If you look in the back. You can see like banners and stuff that maybe fans Zoom made in. through on stage and and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. But if you look at that, you know he's finding like here's a picture. How about this? 1979 could always depend on Gene. You know he's carrying him on his back. So I started wondering because I saw this as well. Let's see if we could come up. <coughs> going through my personal stuff that's been stored. This is the reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder I wrote a lot of early songs on. Good to see it again. Is he reminiscing, or do you think he's like sitting back, you know, in between and going, oh, "I could probably, you know, put out a picture book with all this stuff," or, or, or maybe? I mean, look, nothing's impossible. Gene is selling everything on GeneSimmonsAuctions.com. <laughs> Paul, Paul could too, right, Sonny? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you could sell it if you wanted to. I doubt he does. He is doing exactly what he what we wanted him to do. Figure out a way to stay relevant. Share some shit nobody's ever seen before. Show your human side because mm -hmm. a lot of times we don't ever see the human side. I think it's great. Mm -hmm. I think he should go to the warehouse once a week, pick out something, and share it with the fans. Yeah, and share yeah. a story around it. He's doing exactly maybe. what we want him to do. Yeah, maybe he's just like sometimes I go through my old crap and like, oh, look at this. Maybe he's really literally doing that. You know, like, look, oh, I haven't seen this in a while. Yeah. It, I, now I do know that like there was a moment where, um, you know, there's a lot of these Kiss auctions um, online. Kiss Live Auctions is a group, and there's a few others, um, and there was a there was a little uh, a time where Paul found a bunch of stuff and and these people were auctioning it for him like like oh. I want to say like an acetate of um uh the elder maybe and um there was just all kind uh, I want to say like the drawing like the original Daisy drawing I think I, I'm I might be wrong on that one but I believe that's what it was um. And I'm wondering if he's sitting back and going, I wonder how much, how many of these people would buy this crap. <laughs> uh, yeah, it but is. if he, like, he needs the money that bad, like, if you're going to do that, then do it for charities. Hey, I'm going to do this for this charity. I'm going to do this for this charity. Yeah, gonna We're going to auction this thing off and the money's going to this charity. Like, do it that way if you're going to do it. It would be nice. Because, yes, yeah. the fans want this stuff. There's, 
more than enough kiss homers besides the two sitting in front of me that want this crap. Okay, so yes, I got you. But I hope he's not putting the money he's in the He needs the money that bad. Come on, I doubt dude. it. Do something with it. Yeah. It was uh it, it it's interesting. So we're gonna let's all just keep an eye on Paul. You know, a lot of times when people are depressed, they go, This is what they do. I don't think he's depressed. I'm just kidding. There's gonna be a headline tomorrow. Podcast Rock City thinks Paul Staley is depressed. Blah blah blah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's humor. Um, okay, so all right, so now that we've talked about all that, some more stuff came out, of course, and that is that Gene is going to be doing a live show mm -hmm. in South America. And um, there's two more things that I want to talk about, and we're, we'll get to it. Gene's doing a show in South America. Um, I did not see who was in the band. Sonny, you didn't either, right? There were some postings about who was in the band, but the minute Zach Throne came out and said, I ain't in it, stop calling me and congratulating <laughs> me. Then I totally forgot who the other guys were that they were mentioning because I figured it was all BS. Right now, sounds like the show is happening. And the only two things we really know is what? Uh, Zach won't be there and Bruce won't be there. Those are the only two things we know. We don't <laughs> really gonna know who's there. gonna be there. We don't have a clue. So I don't know. Now if they do, now we've seen Gene has had these solo tours. Did Eric you and keep, Tommy, maybe. Did you, uh, Lee, did you go to any of these, those Gene solo shows? I did not. I saw the Paul Stanley, you know, a few of his solo shows, but I never saw a Gene solo show. Sonny, did you go? I couldn't make any of them. Where were they? They were all over the all place. All over the place. Now, I, don't I know one being near. I know that Jody went. Yeah. He saw them in Minnesota. And that was when Ace got on stage with Gene and performed. And I believe it was an outdoor show, too, which is kind of cool. Um, and uh, he said it was great. It was a lot of fun. They all sounded great. I mean, we're talking how many years ago now? Four years ago? Five years ago that that yeah. all went on. Um, if he does that tour, do you think that it would, or even maybe not tours, let's just say, uh, I mean, uh, well, well, hell, that's the word to use. If he goes to five different cities, it's a five city tour, right? So if he does something like that, does he have to do Paul Stanley songs with an extra singer or can he pull it off with all Gene songs? For uh... Lee, it's yes, he can pull it off. With all Gene songs. Sorry. He can do yeah. all Gene, no problem. <laughs> but what do you he say? He can do Steve? all Gene, no problem. <laughs> the hits are Paul's. So you're going to have to do some of Paul's songs. And some folks are going to want to hear some Paul songs. They're not going to just want to hear all Gene songs. That's hmm. just how it is. Um, now, I will tell you, because, and we don't know this for sure, but let's say that Brazil shows a one-off. Well, it's a perfect way to take your family on vacation, right? Yeah. It's like, I'll play in South America. You fly me down there, fly me back. You do all the accommodations and I vacation there. And the show is part of all that. And I can write it all off as a business expense. That's fucking genius. <laughs> yeah. So who knows? But yes, he has to do Paul songs. He doesn't have to do Ace or Peter songs, but he has to do Paul songs. There's no way around that. Yeah. I, 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 I at least two or three. Detroit Rock City. Yeah. Done. Yeah. 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 But he can't go out and just do secretly cruel and shit. Like, he yes, can't he can. do that. He can, but nobody would show. Well, nobody would be there. happy. Me and Joe would show up anyway. They wouldn't be happy. I guess. But still, the only people that are going to be at that show are going to be the diehards, right? right? Yeah. Our so, Kiss right. so if he if he walked out and played secretly cruel, and you were staying next to me, Sonny, oh, we I would be like, be holy crap, he played secretly cruel. <laughs> I would. I remember seeing when he tried. He tried a song off of Unmasked with that with uh with his band. Which is basically Ace's band now, right? He did Naked City, right? He did. Oh, I don't think he did Naked City. I think he did She's So European. 
Oh, right, right, right. It right, kind right. of fell apart a little bit. Um, uh, but but I don't think anybody cared. I think everybody was just like, hey, that's cool. Nobody he tried cares. it. Oh, I don't think Gene Gene goes out. Gene doesn't have to be perfect. And it's more than good enough. Yeah. I think we're used to that. I don't think Paul would be okay with not being somewhat perfect doing Soul Station, but I don't think Gene has to be perfect. Um, I don't know. It, um, all I can say is 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 that it's it's very interesting. All this stuff, like in the past, like two weeks, I feel like we have been bombarded by like all kinds of kiss stuff happening all of a sudden it was um you know they announced the avatars nothing christmas came and went the new year came and went then all of a sudden boom 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 did i i i don't i didn't even get a chance to look and it might have been a joke i don't think it was but i saw an advertisement where paul stanley showed up was it with tony orlando what? Yeah, I don't even know what that shit was. Wait, I think, what? Yeah, there was some shit about Tony Orlando and Paul, but I think it was somebody goofing on it. I don't know what that was. I loved Tony Orlando when I was in third grade. <laughs> but I think, part of what's hap- <laughs> I, I think part of what's happening is because nobody kind of knows what's happening next, you got every pseudo reporter and real reporter and all the fake reporters out there trying to get it out there first. So when something comes up, you get it from like 13 different places because everybody's trying to be first. Mm. Like this whole Brazil show. How many emails did we get? <laughs> how many Facebook posts did we see about the goddamn Brazil show? That I was glad Zach came out and said, guys, stop calling me. Stop me. Stop I'm busy. Yelling. I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, okay, so here's what I saw in Sunny Star. Uh, this Saturday night, let's rock and roll all night with a kiss, Paul. Oh my with a kiss, what? Paul Stanley. Saturday that so it's past, I guess. I maybe it was just an interview or something. So t- what? Saturday nights with Tony Orlando. <laughs> he looks great. He's looking good. That sounds like a show. <laughs> I'm that you, I love like him a, back in the day. Yeah, that sounds like a radio show or a How podcast or something like that. Yeah, um, I gotta yeah, find but, that. Tony Orlando, he's got to be what ninety years old. He looks way better. He looks better. He was than ninety. I do. It's, he was ninety years old in nineteen sixty. <laughs> he's got to be one hundred and eighty. No. So I guess it was this past Saturday, because I, uh, yeah. Anyway, yesterday was Paul Stanley's birthday, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Happy birthday, 72. Paul. Yeah, you know, I will tell you that, and I don't know if you guys remember this, but let's say 15 years ago on every January 20th, it was Talk Like Paul Stanley Day. And, yes. and, and everybody everybody would put in videos and they'd be like, baby, can you get me a Coke out of the refrigerator, please? My voice. <laughs> that was so much fun. I'll tell you something. If you guys want to have some fun tomorrow, let's all just do it. Talk like Paul Stanley Day. Do a video and send it or post it on the podcast Rock City. That's every day for uh, Seekin Stanley. Yeah, it's true. Post it on the uh, on the uh, podcast Rock City Facebook page or email it to us at podcast Rock City One. That's the number one at gmail.com. Podcast Rock City One. That's the number one at gmail.com. All right, look. Tony Orlando's only seventy nine, so stop it. Oh. Uh, he looked 70. like he was 79 in 1960. No, he well, had like, the wicked mustache and the black He hair. looks spectacular now. Remember Ann Dawn, the two girls that Yeah, I had all the albums, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, so they, had a, they had a variety show and everything. I remember they had a variety My show. My mom let me watch it every week. We don't we don't get variety shows anymore. No. You notice that? Yeah, those were awesome. Um Okay, so before we before we're really getting to the end, there's been a lot of stuff here. I will say that there was one other thing that um, that I noticed on the Paul Stanley Facebook page just now, and I must have missed it during the week. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up, and I'm gonna, I want you to read it, Sonny. Okay, and I want you to tell me if you think that this is a uh, 
I want you to tell, I don't know. I want you to tell me if you think that this is a shot at anyone in particular. Uh oh. Here we go. And go. When you're dead, you don't know you're dead. Wait. When you're dead, you don't know you're dead. The pain is felt by others. The same thing happens when you're stupid. <laughs> That's true. When you're dead, you don't know you're dead. The pain is felt with others. Same thing happens when you're stupid. So when you don't you're know stupid, you're stupid. You don't know when you're stupid. Oh, oh, I got it. It's true. Oh, yeah. That's good. He should have put Ace's face paint on the guy. <laughs> That's what Before he's you post or respond to any post in the coming year, try to remember. That's what he's saying there. But do you think that that's a shot at Ace, too? The Ace is not smart enough to get that is the problem. That's Just why you're going to have to be a little more right at it to do it. I agree I'm sure with that he meme can get it. overall. Here's another way you could stop it. I'm sure there's tons of video that Paul has. Put together a snippet, seven to eight minutes. Of Ace falling down on stage oh, from 74 to 79. <laughs> I'm sure it exists. And it, just it, run it, that somewhere. It very well may. I can honestly say the only time I ever saw a video of Ace falling, it was during the reunion tour. But I'm sure there's some out there. All right. So thank you guys for being here. <clears throat> we will be back next week to talk about something new. Um, before we go, I want to let you guys know we do have a Patreon and we are getting ready to go over there now and record an extra episode of Podcast Rock City. We try to do it every single time we get together on Sunday. We go over, we record it, we post it, and you guys who are patrons to our Patreon, you get the opportunity to see the extra show. Patreon.com, go there, type in Podcast Rock City, and you can join our Patreon for one week free. There's tons of stuff already in there, including the video uh, that I got of, uh, that I made of me getting my box of Dubai stuff. Um, um, and it's not Finally. from Dubai. It's not from, the, it's not Dubai stuff, but it's Dubai stuff and replacement stuff. And I posted it on YouTube. So you guys get a chance to take a look at that. Uh, the hoodie came from there. I put it on because y'all are always bitching about the hoodies I'm wearing. Nice. So, I, so I put on a different one. Oh, it's got it going down the sleeve. and everything. Oh yeah. Look at yeah, that. Pretty, look at pretty that. fancy. Pretty yes, fancy. fancy. Um, and you can see all the stuff that they were very nice and gave me. And I sent them a very nice letter back and told them, thank you. I was pleased. Um, and as you can see the kiss room there, this is the podcasting room through that door over there is actually more kiss room and then around the corner is even more kiss room and i'll do a tour of that once it's all done Sweet. um and we're working on it It takes a little time this room just got almost finished it's almost finished if you look at the ceiling <laughs> the oh. lights the <laughs> lights are still above the drop ceiling so they're going to uh this week they're going to bring those down so and um and then the room will be done so i'm really excited about it it's, it's taken a good bit for us to get here and um let's see yeah so uh my buddy uh, doug is messaging us hey, you guys don't know doug is probably I I think there. he's my oldest friend and i saw that it said hey joe and lee but he always forgets to give facebook a Hey, Doug, I think he went on a cruise. So I, eventually I got to call him and find out how that went. Because it wasn't a kiss cruise. It was oh, a regular cruise. Just Sunny, a cruise? So, yeah. Sonny, when do you go on the, uh, m what's it called? Mork? Yeah. Monsters of Rock is, oh. let's see, 10, 30, 42 days away. Oh, let's talk about that for a second before we go. Ace. Is on the said, cruise. And oh, he supposedly. says one of the things that he said was he can't tour Europe because he owes too much money. <laughs> too many taxes or something. <clears throat> That's oh. just another one of those super personal, bizarre things. Bizarre. He just, look, if there's one good thing about it, the dude's honest. Look, I can't come to your country. I'm sorry. I owe too much money. On the <laughs> other hand, you want to go, why haven't you paid it? Why, why aren't you pay it? You know? 
Um, that being said, um, Ace will be on that, right? Yeah, Ace is scheduled to be on it now. Technically, Satriani's name is above Ace's. So, oh. you know, you could say Ace is the headliner, but Satriani's name is above it. Um, you don't technically need to have a passport to get on a cruise, a cruise ship. There's yeah. other ways to get on. The problem is, is that you get off the cruise ship and anything happens in one of those countries. Oh, you can't come home. Then it's hard to come home if you don't got a passport. Rude. So, right, yeah. um, don't get off the boat. Yeah, I guess don't get off the boat is the way to go. But, uh, you know, there's, uh, I have friends that are taking bets on whether Ace is going to show up or not or pull wow. a Sebastian Bach kind of thing. Um, <laughs> I, I think it's, there's still a percentage that he doesn't make it to the boat. You think so? We're going to wait and yeah. find out. We got 40 days and then Sonny will be hitting Why, me because with he owes money? Here. <laughs> no, it's just, you know, cruise, getting on a cruise is, it's not complicated, but you do have to have certain things done. Yeah. And I mean, we, I've seen Lita Ford struggle with that. We've seen Sebastian struggle with it. Like there's been folks that don't have anybody helping them. And then all of a sudden they get there and they're going, I have all that stuff. It's like, dude, do you read anything we send you? Did you read the contract? Did you read? Yeah. What What are you doing? Yeah. His girlfriend uh, will help him. Ace's girlfriend. Or yeah. wife. Yeah, she, whatever. she seems to be very good for him. I think she's doing all his funny videos at the grocery store. And stuff. I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and go on the record and say, I think that she's been very good for him. All right. All you guys that are watching right now, head over to our Patreon, check it out. See what we offer. Look at all the things I post stuff every day, every single day. And, uh, videos comments polls everybody's into it it's a lot of fun patreon.com podcast rock city sunny do you have anything to add thanks for listening and if you see ace tell him shut up about kiss Lee. <laughs> <And> his taxes <laughs> um no i just saw someone ask again david joseph if i was the girl who made gene fall over in that legendary video yes that was me it was Lee. It was Lee. I mean, all the epic fail, kiss fail videos. I mean, it's become legend. And I, and I will tell you that if you're on our Patreon, I actually posted the whole video yeah. of when Lee was on VH1. Yeah, it's all from it's all raw footage from that VH1 fan club. The, right, and it's the whole fan club uh, show. <laughs> so if you want to go and check it out, just go over there, check out our Patreon. <clears throat> See you guys next week. Um, you know what I'm going to say? We love kiss and we love yeah. kiss podcasts and you're most of them and you're going to hear the commercials for all the ones that we love right well listen before i go i seriously uh you know i, I know for those of you guys that are you know listening 25 hours a week uh, to us you're amazing thank you very much um take this do this okay subscribe to the youtube page so you can come and hang out with us and watch the show if you're listening right now. I promise it's a lot of fun. It's really cool to see everybody's comments and the conversation that goes on. And uh, I think everybody enjoys that. So uh, we're out of here in three, two, one. Peace. Peace. <laughs>